what are we amen shall we please sit beloved in christ today we look at god our savior being made known to people so we reflect on make god visible make god visible how can we do this how can we make god visible among men we are all called to be instruments of god and as instruments we have to champion this cause of making god known among people in the first reading today or this week we begin reading the book of thessalonians it is believed that that is the first book that St. Paul wrote among all his books, his epistle. In this introductory aspect of his writing, St. Paul was happy. He was happy for two reasons. The first one is about the people who rejoices in God because God has done great things in their lives. That is the people of Thessalonians, the Thessalonians themselves, the people of Thessalonica. They rejoice both in words and in deeds. So St. Paul praised them. They promised to live by the word of God and they have done that. That was why St. Paul praised them in today's first reading. The second one is that St. Paul looked at their lifestyle which was according to the gospel they have received, according to the message they have received. So basically, these were the two things for which St. Paul was happy. They received St. Paul, they received his message, the first one. The second one was that their lifestyle was according to the message they have received. That is why we are also reflecting on make God visible among people. These people, the Thessalonica, people from Thessalonians, were able to live according to the gospel they have received. The contrary is what is in the gospel reading of today. The scribes and the Pharisees, Jesus ch ch chastises them today in the reading. He calls them hypocrites. He calls them fools. Why? And this was the main reason why he was calling them like that. They lay heavy burdens on people. They themselves will not do it and block others from receiving it. That is the first one. You want to do something, they say, no, don't do it, and they themselves will not help you to do it. The second one is, Jesus chastises them by telling them that you people travel everywhere to win more people for Christ. And when those people accept Christ and they come into Christ, then you are the very people who lead them astray. Beloved in Christ, if you look at the first reading and the gospel reading, they are totally different. Two opposite sides. Just like yesterday's readings, we have to make a choice today. Which one are you following? Are we going to be like the people of Thessalonica or we are going to be like the scribes and the Pharisees? It is a choice unto us. Are we going to make Christ visible like those people Paul met in Thessalon Thessalonica or we are going to be like the people Jesus met, the scribes and the Pharisees who prevented others from reaching God? That is the message for us. Any of the choices that we make, we are responsible for them. And today, Though we are making our choices, just as the Lord puts before us, He said, I gave you light and darkness, but choose light and live. Today, I also bring this to you that choose to praise God. Choose that which you have believed, that it might manifest in your life for others also to come to see Christ. And that is the first reading of today. Make Christ visible among men. May the Lord bless us. To be able to live that life, not to be like the scribes and the Pharisees, for us to be described as hypocrites and as fools, to block others 
from reaching God, but be like the Thess people of Thessalonica to hear the word of God, to let it be part of our lives. May the Lord bless us. Amen. Amen. Amen.